video is on the problem from random variables and distribution function. See the probability density f of x of a continuous random variable is given by f of x is equal to c times of e power minus modulus of x where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Then we have to show that c is equal to half and find that the mean and the variance of the distribution and also find the probability that the variate lies between 0 and 4. See here we have to show that the c value is half. For that what is the function given here? So in the solution the function f of x is given as c into e power minus mod x and x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. So now we know that according to our question we know that since uh, the total probability is unity that is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx value is always unity 1. So in between so what is f of x value c into e power that is c into e power minus mod x into dx value is equal to 1. Since x is an even function e power minus x is an even function straight away we can write this as minus infinity to plus infinity c power minus x dx is equal to 1. So here c so this is 0 and this is plus 1 and this is minus 1. The distance from minus 1 to 0 is same as the distance from 0 to 1. So here likewise, so this is infinity and this is plus infinity. The distance from minus infinity to 0 is same as 0 to infinity. For that, so I am writing this as 2 times of. In order to calculate from minus infinity to plus infinity, I am calculating from 0 to infinity for twice. That is 2 times of 0 to infinity c into e power minus x dx is equal to 1. Got it? So, here c is a constant. I am bringing outside and this is integral 0 to 1 e power minus x dx is equal to 1. So, this is 2c. So, what is the integration of e power minus c? Minus e power minus x. Between the limit 0 to infinity is equal to 1. This is 2c times of minus infinity minus of minus plus e power 0 is equal to 1. So, e power infinity is 0 and what remains 2c? This is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, here 2c value is equal to 1 and c is equal to half. So, this is what we have to show that c value is equal to half. So, see here, first of all we have to remember that the total probability is unity. So, this is the formula that is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. Here the function value is c times of e power modulus of x. So, so in order to calculate from minus infinity to plus infinity, I am calculating twice 0 to infinity c into e power minus x dx. So, c it is a constant I brought outside and c this is e power minus x into dx. So, we have to integrate this one. So, this will be minus e power minus x between the limit 0 to infinity. So, upper limit minus lower limit and the value here 2c is equal to 1 and c value is equal to half. The next equation here is c is equal to half we got and next then find the mean and the variance of the distribution and also find the probability that the variate lies between 0 and 4. First, we have to find the value of a mean. See here, just using this, we are going to calculate the mean. So, this is the function and the mean here will be the mean of the distribution mu is equal to this is minus infinity to plus infinity x into this is f of x into dx. So, what is f of x here? So, x c is equal to half. And, and now if I substitute this one, so mu is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x into what is f of x from the question the value here is c into e power minus mod x into dx. Since we have c value as half if I substitute so, so this will be half times of minus infinity to plus infinity x e power minus mod x into dx minus mod x into dx since the integrand is odd since see here the reason here is since the integrand is odd function so as this is an odd function the total integral value will be 
zero. Therefore, the value here will be the mu value here is zero. So this value is equal to zero. As it is the integrand value, this is an odd function. Next, we have to find the value of a variance. So now variance can be written as the variance of sigma square is equal to the formula is minus infinity to plus infinity. This is x minus mu whole square into f of x into dx. As we have mu value as 0, so this is our mu value. If I substitute here, then the variance value sigma square will be. So this is minus infinity to plus infinity. X minus 0 whole square. What is our f of x value? That is c times of e power minus mod x into dx. So we got the value of c as half. If I substitute, then this will be sigma square value will be this is minus infinity to plus infinity x square. This is half e power minus mod x into dx. See here, e half if I bring it outside, then this will be minus infinity to plus infinity x square e power minus mod x into dx. See, in order to calculate from minus infinity to plus infinity, I am calculating twice 0 to infinity. This is x square e power minus mod x into dx. Now, I can cancel this one. Since, see here, the integrand here is an even function. See here, since integrand is even. So, now we have to calculate the value of this. So, since this value is even, we need to calculate sigma square as sigma square will be this is 0 to infinity. This will be x square e power minus x into dx. See, this is u and this is v. As you know that this is integration by parts. I late. We have to use I late. So, here this is an algebraic function. So, this will be the first function u and exponential function. This will be v. So, we have a formula that integral u v dx formula is equal to u we have to leave, v we have to integrate minus derivative of u integral v dx whole dx. So, if I substitute in this formula, then sigma square value will be u I have to leave as it is, v I have to integrate e power minus x. So, this will be minus, minus. So, whatever u value I have to make a derivative. So, this will be 2x and the integration of this one will be minus e power minus x into dx. And the next thing here is this will be minus x square e power minus x minus into minus plus 2 times of this is x into minus x into dx. Again integration by parts. So, this is u and this is v. So, this value is u and this value is v. Again, we have to substitute in this formula. Next, sigma square value is minus x square e power minus x. This is 2 times of u I have to leave as it is. v I have to integrate that is minus e power minus x. And again, whatever the u value I have to make a derivative. For x, this is 1. For again, integration e power minus x into dx. Sigma square is equal to, this is x square e power minus x. So, if I multiply, this is minus 2x minus x. And so, this will be minus 2 e power minus x. So, if again I make an integration, this will be minus, this will be minus 2. So, between the limits, see here, the limits here are from 0 to infinity. So, if I substitute the upper limit as infinity, e power infinity, e power infinity, e power infinity. So, this will be 0. Low, upper limit is 0 everywhere. And here, lower limit. So, this is plus minus uh, x is 0. So, this is 0 and x is 0. And see here, this is plus 2 into e power 0. So, sigma square will be 2. Then the variance, the variance value we got is 2. And after that, the next thing here is we have to find the probability when the variant is between. See, we have to find the probability when the variant is between 0 and 4. See, the next question here is between 0 and 4. 
that is probability of 0 less than x less than or equal to 4. So, which is equal to the value 0 to 4 f of x into dx. What is our f of x 0 to 4? From the question f of x value is nothing but I will show you f of x is equal to c into a power minus mod x. So, the value here is c into e power minus mod x into dx. Here the c value is half between the limit 0 to 4. e power this is minus x into dx. So, half times of the integration of e power minus x is minus e power minus x between the limit 0 to 4. So, this is half minus e power minus 4 and plus this value is e power 0. And c now, so this value is nothing but minus e power minus 4 plus 1. So, half times of 1 minus that is e power minus 4. The value here after using calc is 0 0.4908 approximately. So, this is how we have to calculate the probability when the variate lies between 0 to 4. And thank you so much for watching. This is how I have calculated the value of uh, c as a half and uh, this is the mean value the mean value as the integrand is the odd value then the uh, obviously the integration value will be zero so we got the value of mean as zero and next we have to calculate variance so this is the variance value so the variance value here as it is an even function so we got the variance value as 2 and this is the probability when the variate lies between 0 to 4 is 0 0.4908. Thank you so much for watching and I will be uploading many more problems. Have a look at those. Please practice. Definitely it will be very helpful.